Hey friends, family, and other people who care about us. Uh, just want to give a quick update on what we've been up to. Um, we moved out of San Francisco for the month, which is over there, to the East Bay, and have spent the last month really diving into virtual reality and trying to figure out how do we combine these deep passions for neuroscience, for art, for meditation, together into this compelling package, this compelling experience that helps people live more joyfully, with more compassion, with more empathy, and ultimately creates a better world for all of us. Um, do you want to say a bit about what we're, what we're doing here? Sure, yeah. So for me, over the past few months, it's become clear that VR is the best medium, and maybe even the first medium, to be able to convey certain kinds of emotions and feelings in a way that is it's consistent and it's so much more powerful than any medium I've seen. Uh, for example, being on top of a mountain overlooking the entire bay. You can get glimpses of that from reading a really good poem or going and seeing a movie, but the difference between that and being there in virtual reality is, is vast. And I, th I think that it's not just a quantitative difference, it's, it's like truly a qualitative, it's so much more powerful that it's a qualitative difference between this medium and all others that have come before it. So we really look forward to showing you some of the spaces we build and giving you a glimpse of like our, our, our vision for beyond that. Thank you. Yeah, so come right along. Uh, we'll show you some things and we'd love any feedback uh, or money and support. Thanks so much, cheers. So if you see, this is the, the same porch, somewhat of the same view that you just saw. And really what, what made it click for us is whenever we started bringing in these real world environments, but started changing them in these sort of interesting ways in the sort of meditative space. And you can see this is just a beautiful scene. Like this is kind of what it looks like being on the porch. Um, and one thing we would do every evening is we'd run up the hill behind the house and uh, watch the sunset. And so if we go up there, probably make it up in time before the sun goes down. And so I'm, I'm just narrating here and Eric's uh, driving the ship. So this, we'll be uh, talking a little bit. And so we have this beautiful sense of awe that happens whenever you have like this amazing sunset, this sort of nature components and a sense of perspective of the entire space. Wow. Whew. And um, this is really expansive sense that happens there. And so if we continue on towards the city, we had some more interesting sort of abstract um, experiences we'll pan into here. For this experience, I wanted to experiment with bringing in abstract art spaces into VR. And I found that this combination of these slowly flapping birds heading towards this kind of weird looking mystical tree gate structure really put me into an immediate sense of, kind of mystical calm awe kind of feel. I'm really looking forward to continuing explorations in this area. And coming out of that, we get into this beautiful twilight hour. Um, another cool space was just like, well, what would it be like to meditate on top of um, Angel Island and like look out over the Golden Gate Bridge and kind of see what it looks like from there? And this is a really great vantage point for the sort of moonrise over the city. And so we can get a feel for what it would be like to be there. Oof. <sighs> and you should really try this in virtual reality if you if um, just ask us if you're ever around and then we can kind of fly over the city um, one of the really cool things about basing this on a real world space like the city is that we can add all these sort of interesting like light twinkles and effects that kind of change your relationship with the way we see the city and the way we live in it 
and we can kind of fly up to Sutro Tower here and just with the moon as it's flying with us and let's see let's pan to the right. Uh, like what would it be like to climb up on top of the Sutro Tower and take a pause and just kind of look around at this beautiful scape. Incredible. Whew. And we also started playing with sort of more traditional meditation, like what would it be like to meditate on a beach, to, to use virtual reality to just help you disconnect. And um, we kind of threw it in here as this interesting sense of perspective, because this is sort of where Baker Beach is. Um, we'll see, we'll get down to the sky. And so the one thing we're, we're toying around with is this idea of having an avatar in, in the meditation world to where when you go to the avatar and uh, once you're inside of it in VR you sort of look down and you see this this body underneath of you and feel like oh those are my legs these are my hands and it creates this real deep sense of, of being there and, and we're also playing with some sense of like seeing the breath and seeing the abdomen move in and out with breathing exercises and then if you combine that with these sort of awe-inspiring spaces it's, it's really a sort of mesmerizing experience um, some of the other interesting kind of weird <laughs> concepts we're playing with is like what is it like to empathize with the world around you so like what if you you looked at things in the world and they sort of smiled back at you in a way and so we modeled out some hearts and like put some <laughs> creepy teeth in them and and the one on the left animates whenever we have it in an animation mode um, and that's that's has some really interesting directions to it uh, additionally another one is like sort of what is it like to empathize outside of yourself to really ex expand the sense of consciousness beyond the sort of local body and so an idea of that is say you were looking at rocks and a rock was modeled to be in a very similar position as you in this sort of meditative seated posture um, but you could empathize with it and actually become the rock and so this is a, a rock that's modeled after that, that same man and um, we'll just take a pause here and, and let the sun come up Finally, the sun's coming up. It's probably around 6 a.m. or so, and you can see this rock is in sort of this similar position. And what happens is when you go up to the where the sort of where the head is, if we go up to there and kind of like look down, you kind of get this sense that it's, it's modeled after a sort of a pink granite rock, but uh, the sense that like the positioning is more or less the same. And so like if we put the user's first perspe person perspective in that same place, it feels like, oh wow, I am I am this sort of rock figure. Um, so some interesting concepts there that we're going to continue playing with. And so let's uh, continue on. A peaceful morning. So you really start to feel this sense of expansiveness of um, this entire space and you know, fly by the Golden Gate Bridge here. Another interesting one is like how well, what would it be like to take like these spaces that people are familiar with and like toss in an avatar there and allow you to sort of feel what it would be like to have your feet dangling off on top of the, the Golden Gate Bridge at sunrise, looking out over over this entire space. And it's definitely like a, a sense of vertigo that happens here in virtual reality, but it's there's some some component of fear that's also a component of awe, which is, is really interesting to explore. And we can uh, continue on to uh, the coup de gras, the sort of the journey up the mountains into um, this really incredible, safe vista point. So we worked with this amazing um, technical artist in Australia who helped us to really um, make this temple a, a beautiful experience. And so now you have this incredible safe space up on, on top of the mountains that you can sort of, you know where it's at, you know where it's at relative to the rest of the city. And you can watch the sunset, the sunrise from up here. There could be meditations and 
sort of learning sessions or visualizations. Or really, if you wanted to just disconnect and sort of look out and sort of ponder life and sort of dwell with this sense of awe that's uh, sort of very expansive. Um, it's been this incredible experience building this with Eric, and we'll probably pan in a couple couple things here at the end of like other interesting experiences we built. But um, really looking forward to sharing this with you all at some point. And um, yeah, just let us know if you have any feedback. And uh, we'll just leave the leave the view here until the sun sets again, and and we'll go from there. for joining us on our journey. Now we're just going to show you a few other experiences we've put together. See you there. This scene is an homage to Never Ending Story, which was one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid. And the movie focuses on this realm called Fantasia, which it turns out is entirely created as the result of the collective imaginings of all people. And it's a lot of what we're doing right now at this new medium of VR. We're all together creating this entirely new realm that exists in this plane. Above us, within us, between us. So let's make it beautiful. So I prototyped this after Chris and I did a morning guided visualization meditation where we were walked through a large tree trunk opening down into a subterranean cave where we came upon these mystical shamans drumming around a fire. And during the guided meditation, we were instructed to step into the fire and let the fire burn away the habits that no longer served us. So I got really inspired by that and built this little prototype with the idea that eventually something like this could be a really powerful experience for having people go along with that guided meditation while actually embodying that and stepping into the fire in a virtual space where they're not actually burnt, but metaphorically, they burn it all away. Another really interesting one uh, a space that we've been exploring is like a loft downtown during a rainy day. What's it like to just sit and meditate, staring at the water trickling down a window and listening to the sound and the pitter patter of the rain? Uh, this one's been really beautiful. It's just um, a challenge to optimize, um, but there's a lot of potential here.